I've been building this two-stroke twin engine, jet board, for months now. It's time to get it finished, get it in the water, test it, and break it. Let's go. I printed a stop button for this double switch so I can turn both motors off at once. Got that button wired in. So the wires just go to the earth. Then come back to the coils here. I've got them separate. People say I don't need to, but I've got the switch, so I've just done it anyway. I printed this little number right here. Just put on the bolt so I can put it in here and just spin it. And the other one's just printed now. Got some stainless nuts and bolts so I can tack the nuts to the inside of this exhaust bracket. Tech tip, if you uh, tack a stainless nut to something, but you're holding it in place with a stainless bolt, it'll bind up on it and you'll never get the bolt undone. Ask me how I know. So you just put a mild steel one in there when you're tacking it together and it'll unwind fine. So I polished the exhaust up, given the whole thing a bit of a paint, cut all these pads out. My daughter helped cut the more intricate stuff. Got the outlet there for the water so I can see it's pumping. Also printed another impeller. Uh, it's a lot less aggressive pitch, so we can try that if it uh, doesn't rev high enough. Last very long, did it? It floats well. Yeah. It's super stable to stand on. This is the first time I've actually had it in the water standing on it. I think it might just be blocked with um, weeds. Ah. Massive big pile of grass in there. Huge pile of grass. The impeller looks okay. Is the coupling broken? I've just realised it's stripped out here where the clutch goes. So this plastic coupling is no good. I might have to use a piece of rubber hose or something on here. Well, that's it for that board. Bought the sailboat, so me and Dad are going to have a go on this quickly. Okay, I cut the coupling out. It just totally wallowed out the inside of there, so those of you said it would never work, you were right, well done. Uh, another thing, this is the fuel cap. It's gone totally squishy because this was 3D printed as well, so I have to do something about that. I've got an old hydraulic hose here that's got a leak in it, so I might cut that off and try and use that for the coupling somehow. Okay, I printed another impeller last night. It's only a two blade and it's got uh, even less pitch. So hopefully let the engines rev up more.
but I made a mistake. I didn't print this uh, hole deep enough, the hex hole. So I'm gonna have to heat this bolt up and sink her in there. Let's see if we can do that. So I've got the hydraulic hose hooked up there. I printed another impeller last night, that's in here. Got a door stop for the fuel cap now. Secure, we're back out here. There's a heap of weed in the water, so I'll try and start a bit further out. This coolant pipe came out, I'm going to try and tape it in somewhat. Why is it going so slow? Trying to change the impeller. Put the most aggressive one in, last stitch, try it, getting it to work. Try it now without the nozzle. Alright guys, let's face some facts here. These two motors do not have the power. I think maximum that both of these are putting out together would be about 8 horsepower. That's my guess, but I've got no idea. You probably need 20 horsepower to run a jet board. But I've got an idea. Let's cheat. Alright, the motors are out, the jet unit's out. And I have butchered a long tail motor onto the back of the surfboard. Just made a dodgy wooden bracket for it to sit on there. Bent the handle up a bit so I can stand on it and drive. Ram ram. I've had enough guys, I just want to try it. I spent so much time working on this thing, I just wanted to go fast. Alright guys, if this doesn't get on the plane now, I'm going to quit my channel and become a YouTube Nazi and just comment on everyone else's video. Okay, we've got the speedo set up now. Let's see how fast it goes.
Okay, my dad's having a go. He's 68 years old. Oh, he's already fallen off. And uh, it's his birthday today, so don't get killed, Dad. Alright, we've been having great fun on it, but we've always been starting off on the land. So we're going to try and go out to deeper water and see if we can still start it there if we get stuck. I might actually stand up. Man, that is way more fun. It's uh, so fast. Uh, you can get to full throttle. I got to full throttle, it was about 33k or something like that. But um, it's running out of revs. I've got bigger props I can put on, but I don't want to go much faster right now because it's too scary. I need a, um, a lanyard for your hand, so if you fall off, it pulls the kill switch and you don't get chopped up by the propeller. Um, people will say you need a prop guard on here, but it makes it go slower. So weeds and stuff get tangled up. Oh, I was probably driving with weeds in it the whole time. But it just doesn't care. Yeah. It doesn't care about the weeds or anything. It's, so it's just great. Yeah. It's, it is like borderline being able to start it on the water though. It needs a little bit more buoyancy. Hey guys, there's hardly any wind. We want to take the catamaran out, so it looks like we've done. The long tail catamaran jet board. It's so fast. <laughs> I'm gonna get this um, camera and see how fast it goes, eh? It's pretty fast. It's not much difference, eh? Ten K slower. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it looks pretty fast though, but if you hit the right Oh angle, yeah, it's not even the right angle or anything. All right, guys, we got to 24 on that, which is pretty crazy just for slapping it on there. The motor's way too high, the angle's wrong, and it's off to one side. And you can use your motor as a brake to slow down. <laughs> what do you think about that, the head? <laughs> How are you going to get one for your catamaran now? I like you actually. It's so much better than our board, eh? So this long tail catamaran setup worked so good that we actually sailed right across to Matakana Island. We didn't film it though, but we ended up sailing around for ages with it.
All right, guys, that was a super fun day. This thing was like one of the funnest things I've ever driven on the water. It was really fun and cool. I'm disappointed that the jet unit didn't work very well. There was a guy commenting on my channel that uh, knows about these motors as he raced as the um, pocket bikes which these come out of. Apparently these are supposed to be the high performance one. Apparently even these ones are better, the cheaper ones. So these might even be only putting out two horsepower each or something crazy like that. So not enough power, especially to run a jet unit. I've still got the jet unit and everything for this board so I can change it back. But I'll probably only do that if I can find a really powerful two-stroke motor. Um, I don't want to do an electric one because so many other people have done that and no this motor will not be powerful enough to run the jet unit this is eight horsepower but eight horsepower might be enough to run a jet unit jet units are pretty inefficient especially in the smaller scale and also you know you can just run in the shallow water and not pick up weeds and sand and all that stuff something that else is really cool that nobody else has done is have make an electric long tail You'd go way faster for a smaller motor with an electric long tail than a jet unit. All right, guys, let me know which direction you want me to head with this project. I actually really like it how it is, but I bet you guys want me to put it back to a jet board. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.